We're asked to find the closed formula for each of the following sequences by relating them to a well-known sequence shown below. Assume the first term given is a sub one. So for a, we have three, six, 11, 18, 27, 38, and so on. So we wanna begin by analyzing the common sequences below and see which one the given sequence resembles. One thing we can do to help recognize which sequence it resembles is to see how the terms increase. Notice three plus three is equal to six, six plus five is equal to 11, 11 plus seven is equal to 18, 18 plus nine is equal to 27, and so on. If we can find a common sequence below in which the terms increase in the same way, it'll help us determine the closed formula. So analyzing the sequences here on the left, let's focus on the square numbers. Notice one plus three is four, four plus five is nine, nine plus seven is 16, 16 plus nine is 25, and so on. Which means our sequence does resemble the square numbers given by a sub n equals n squared. But notice how all the terms in our sequence are two more than the sequence of square numbers. Notice one plus two is three, four plus two is six, nine plus two is 11 which indicates the closed formula is a sub n equals n squared plus two. And let's just go ahead and verify this by using the closed formula to generate some of the terms. And remember the first term is a sub one, so a sub one is equal to one squared plus two, which is three. a sub two is equal to two squared plus two, which is six. a sub three is equal to three squared, plus two, which is 11, and so on. Our formula works. And now let's look at sequence B. We have negative one, one, four, eight, 13, and so on. Again, it might not be obvious which common sequence our sequence resembles. Let's look and see how the terms increase. Negative one plus two is one, one plus three is four, four plus four is eight, eight plus five is 13, and so on. So we're looking for a common sequence where the terms follow the same pattern. Let's take a look at the triangular numbers. Notice one plus two is three, three plus three is six, six plus four is 10, 10 plus five is 15, and so on. This indicates our sequence does resemble the triangular numbers given by t sub n equals the product of n and n plus one divided by two, but again, notice how all the terms in our sequence are two less than the triangular numbers. Notice one minus two is negative one, three minus two is one, six minus two is four, and so on. This indicates the closed formula is a sub n equals the product of n and n plus one divided by two and then minus two. And again, let's go ahead and verify this for the first few terms. a sub one is equal to the product of one and one plus one divided by two minus two, which is equal to one times two, which is two divided by two, which is one. One minus two is negative one, that works. A sub two is equal to the product of two and two plus one, all divided by two minus two. Simplifying, we have three minus two, which is one. Let's go ahead and try one more a sub three is equal to the product of three and three plus one divided by two minus two, which gives us 12 divided by two, which is six, six minus two is equal to four. The closed formula is correct. For C, we have four, five, nine, 27, 123, and so on. Because these terms start to increase so quickly, looking at the common sequences below, this should remind us of the factorial numbers given by a sub n equals n factorial. So if we notice just right away, we might notice all the terms in our sequence are three more than the factorial numbers, and therefore the closed formula is a sub n equals n factorial plus three. But again, if we don't recognize this, we can look to see how the terms increase. Four plus one is five, five plus four is nine, nine plus 18 is 27, 27 plus 96 is 123. And again, looking at the factorial numbers, one plus one is two, two plus four is six, six plus 18 is 24, and so on. Now that we know which common 
sequence it resembles. From here we need to recognize all the terms in our sequence are three more than the terms in the sequence given by a sub n equals n factorial, indicating the closed formula is a sub n equals n factorial plus three. And then again, let's go ahead and verify this. a sub one is equal to one factorial plus three. Well, one factorial is equal to one. One plus three is four. a sub two is equal to two factorial plus three, which is two factorial is two times one, which is two. Two plus three is five. Let's go and check one more. a sub three is equal to three factorial plus three. Three factorial is equal to three times two times one, which is six. Six plus three is nine. So our formula is correct. Now this last sequence is a little more challenging, a little bit different. We have seven, 13, 21, 31, 43. It's a little hard to tell, but the sequence does resemble the sequence of products given by a sub n equals n times the quantity n plus one. The next thing to recognize is that seven is one more than six, 13 is one more than 12, 21 is one more than 20, 31 is one more than 30. So we can say that a sub one, which is equal to seven, is equal to six plus one, and six is equal to two times three. So we have seven equals two times three plus one. Notice a sub two is equal to 13, which is three times four plus one. A sub three is equal to 21, which is equal to four times five plus one, and so on. So notice for a sub one, n is one, two is one more than n, three is two more than n, and then we have plus one. For a sub two, n is two, three is one more than n, four is two more than n, and then we have plus one. For a sub three, when n is three, four is one more than n, five is two more than n, and then we have plus one. So recognizing this pattern, the closed formula is a sub n equals the quantity n plus one times the quantity n plus two, and then plus one. And let's go ahead and verify this. For a sub one, we have the quantity one plus one times the quantity one plus two plus one, which is two times three plus one, which is seven. a sub two is equal to the quantity two plus one times the quantity two plus two plus one, which is three times four plus one, which is 13, and so on. So these types of problems can be challenging. If we can't determine which common sequence the sequence resembles, then it is helpful to take a look at the factors and possibly the factors plus or minus a value to determine the closed formula. I hope you found this helpful.